If you work in math education, chances are you've been asked some variation of this question. And I know when I've been asked this question, I, I sometimes find it hard to give a really quick answer uh, because there's a lot to it. I mean, first of all, uh, math hasn't changed. Uh, the way we teach it's changed, but uh, fundamentally the math is still the same. And, and then you get into all the nuances there, and it's hard sometimes to find a way to explain this that resonates with people, especially if they don't have a lot of background in math education. But I think I found a great way to do this. So let's think about the way we teach reading. Now, in reading, when uh, kids are learning to read, we focus on three primary areas. We, we check on how well the kid's reading in terms of fluency, uh, how well they're reading in terms of accuracy, how many of the words they can read correctly on a page, and of course, how well their comprehension is, how well they understand what's read on the page. Now, if we ever had a kid who could read the words really accurately and fairly fluently, but at the end of their reading, they couldn't tell you a single thing about the book they read, we wouldn't say, what an amazing reader that kid is. Uh, we would probably find a book that is a um, an easier book where the comprehension can also develop along with their accuracy and fluency. We never would just like move kids through books just because they could say the words really fast. And yet, Let's think about how we've taught math. Of these three things, which hasn't really been the focus of math education historically in our country? And you guessed it, comprehension's not really been a big part of it. Uh, we've often just focused on getting answers accurately and very quickly. So speed or fluency and accuracy were sort of the focal points of math education. Now imagine if we actually taught reading the same way we historically taught math. Uh, essentially, we'd be teaching kids to say words really quickly. And how would that work out? Imagine right now, just trying to read this text. Uh, I want you to do it. Just read this as fast as you can. And chances are you are reading this with 100% accuracy, and you're probably reading it very fluently. And yet, are you enjoying what you've read? Can you tell me anything about what you've read? Uh, probably not, right? And imagine if kids went to school their entire time, and that's how they learn to read, is just to say words really fast. Uh, we'd probably, if you interviewed kids coming out of high school about how they felt about reading, they'd probably say, I'm not really a reading person. I can read, but I don't really get it. Um, I hate reading. Like, all of those things would, would make sense because they would just be saying words without any real connection. There's no meaning behind that. So where's the joy in it, right? So the, the, we wouldn't be surprised that kids didn't like to read. So are we surprised that lots of people don't like math? Uh, think about it. If we teach kids to get answers really quickly without any understanding, where's the joy in that? And so this is why math looks different today. It's not that the math has changed. We're teaching math because we want to build in the comprehension. The critical thing to remember here is that the purpose of reading is to make sense of ideas presented in written text. Speed and accuracy help us get to the meaning easier, but understanding is key. And the same is true with mathematics. Like, what good is speed and accuracy if the work you're doing has no meaning to you? So math looks different today because teachers, more and more teachers, are emphasizing the understanding component in their classroom, and kids are getting a chance to experience the wonder and the joy that mathematics can bring. So the next time someone asks you, why has math changed? Share this comparison with them and ask, would we want to teach kids to read by just decoding words really quickly and accurately? And they'll likely say no. And, and when they do, you can say, well, then why is it okay to do in mathematics?